The handler's warm enough. Federal fishery guys looking for some nets, I guess. That's something we're up here where it's nice and isolated. We got jet flying around, Lyle. Is that a black bear, Nick? Yeah. your opening day. Is this where we're going to catch them, Nick? Yeah, we're going to get them right here. Guaranteed. How many rods are you going to be fishing, Marvin? Uh, at least four, maybe uh, maybe five. So how's the program been going so far? Well, uh, pretty good. We're getting a lot more big fish than we did last year. We've got uh, 20 big fish, which uh, would equal 1.7 meters or greater. And it's that size bracket that we think that um, these fish in the Fraser spawn at, roughly that, that length. But uh, as of now, we haven't uh, reached our objective of getting a free spawning female. That is a female that's going to be spawning next next spring, sometime in uh, May or June. And once we get one of those fish, what we're going to do is put a radio tag on her. We're going to follow her to her spawning area, uh, try and delineate exactly what location and the kind of habitat, depth, velocity, substrate. What we'll do then is try and uh, capture juveniles like small recently hatched uh, sturgeon fry or else um, eggs. There's some very specific techniques to do that. And uh, that'll give us an idea as to whether or not uh, or where sturgeon in the Fraser River spawn. Pretty critical information. Well, I guess Nick's getting ready there. We'll get the rods in the water and uh, hopefully we'll get into some fish. He guarantees his fish, Marvin. Well, he's the man. 
Nick and Mark are the professionals here, and they seem to uh, be able to produce fish for us, so uh, we're pretty happy about that. Well, this is about the only time I've ever been on the, the river and I haven't had a fishing rod. Well, it's work, but somebody has to do it. Yep, that's right. What are they being using mostly for uh, bait, Marvin? Uh, sockeye rope. But uh, we're also using lampreys, uh, salmon, hooligans. We've got a mixture of bait, but right now sockeye rope seems to be uh, doing the best. So how many fish do you feel that you've uh, landed and uh, tagged? You were saying you d didn't have any spawning females yet, but... Well, our objective is to catch uh, 300 uh, mature-sized fish, and within that 300, we're hoping to get uh, 25 pre-spawning females. Uh, with regards to how many we're going to get, uh, I don't know. We've got 20 fish right now, and we haven't captured one pre-spawning female yet. We've had one pre-spawning male which we didn't put a radio tag on. That radio tag, uh, the males will be radio tags from now on, I think, right. if we find uh, pre-spawning males. So. And what did you say the biggest fish that you've, uh, that you've tagged so far then? Well, in terms of just the spaghetti tags, and, or the ploy tags, and the pit tags, uh, somewhere around uh, 200 pounds. That's just under 200 pounds. But uh, there's fish that are a lot bigger than that out here. We know that. I topsied one last Thursday, which would have gone, uh, oh, probably uh, in excess of 400 pounds. It was 10 and a half feet long, so there's some pretty big fish out here still. Can he get his uh, 40th birthday uh, back? Yeah. I, I, I took the, uh, the big 6 uh, old commercial hooks and snipped the points off of them. Oh, did you? What size hooks are you using there, Nick? Uh, 9-0. Either Gamba Gatsus or uh, BMCs or uh, Muckdads. We use three different types. What are you doing there, Angela? Well, I'm just getting the uh, antibiotic ready for my fish. Antibiotic? Yeah. So, what do you, you, uh, every fish you catch, you, uh, do that? You were saying on the antibiotics there? Yeah, and the fish that we surgically examine, sex them. We have to uh, look inside. There's no way to sex the surgeon externally. Right. And uh, just before we suture them up, we give them a, a general spectrum antibiotic. This is called the oxytetracycline. It just helps reduce infection. And you're from uh, RNL Lands, is it? RLNL. RLNL. Rivers, Lakes, and Lands. Very good. Look at that, you guys. They uh, jump in there, are they, Nick? Yeah, they're just jumping. waiting. Good fish just jumped in there. Like a, it's a five or six foot fish, probably a hundred pounds plus. Have you fished this spot uh, before, Nick? Yeah, we have, quite a few times. And how have you made out? Uh, we've done pretty well here, yeah. You haven't caught any that you've tagged uh, twice then? Uh, we've caught some fish that we tagged last year, actually. We caught a couple fish. And they've been tagged in the same area? Uh, yeah, it actually wasn't here. It was down river further. The two rods that are going to be short lines right over there? Yep. And we'll put the two big rods over the Okay. I'll still get you guys to tie on the bait. Mark, the last time they hear the both of the fish they caught there. So that's the... Secret weapon. Secret weapon. There it is. That's sockeye bait that you've, uh, that you've purchased down in... Uh, no, yeah. No, we didn't purchase it. No. Yeah, fairy godmother. Given to you. Yep. So. <laughs> she waved her wand and we got... It's too heavy a weight to put. I'm going to use those flat ones because they skip. You need, to the you need to drag them up. Yeah.
it. Oh, no, it's a cast. My cast don't count. Oh, you mean you broke off on the first count? Man, I followed it all the way in. Did you? That wasn't a very good cast, was it? No. Oh. Because it went about 500 feet, and that's it. Where's the transmark? Down above that pile, bro. What are you, you uh, uh, charting uh, all your sites that you're fishing uh, there, are you, Angela? Yeah, we have uh, the river kilometers marked out on all the maps. And it's recording I got a rig, I don't want to tell you a bit on the river. We're fishing the site, and we should draw a little map and take GPS coordinates and all that stuff to document the pothole. Right. We hope we get a big one on.
They're getting the rods out a bit further here, uh, Marvin. And they can cast here, is that the idea? What's that? You're getting the rods out so you don't have you can't cast that far. How deep is it out there, uh, Nick? Oh, where we dropped those lines is probably about 35 feet. Yeah. Well, we just got to wait now. Yep. Marvin's got one on, eh? Yep. You got two on. There we are. Yep. Watch, Watch out there, sir. Watch out there. Watch Sooner or later, they come out. Are you ready there, Lyle? Okay, how far out will they be? Which one's coming out? What size one you got there, Marvin? Good size one? No, not incredibly. Yeah, this guy's. Mark, can you uh, describe what we're using there? This is just a basic stretcher with aluminum poles. It's a vinyl, it's a vinyl material. So with a hood on one end, the fish's head goes in the hooded area. It's got a little drain pipe for water to do a drain out. We've got continual water flow from a pump in the back of the boat. That one was tagged last year then, Nick? Yeah, this fish is a, is a recapture. Can we, uh, 
Walk that over. 